Hey what's up everyone welcome to the Bioway channel today we will see a very important biochemical test that is routinely used in bacterial identification called as nitrate reduction test now let us see the principle of this particular test So the reduction of nitrate involves the formation of nitrite and the principle of this particular test is based on detection of this nitrite. Now how do we detect nitrite? We use certain chemical reagents. Now you can see over here the nitrite present in this aqueous environment can be detected by the use of first reagent called as reagent A which is containing sulfonylic acid. So we add this sulfonylic acid in the aqueous solution of nitrite. As a result, this sulfonylic acid will bind with the nitrite to form a complex, which is still colorless. Now to detect this, we add the next reagent called as reagent B, which is alpha naphthalamine. So alpha naphthalamine combined with the complex of nitrite and sulfonylic acid to form a red color precipitate, which is prontosil. And this forms the basis of the principle of nitrate reduction test. Now, when do bacteria form nitrite? So whenever nitrate is present in the environment, it is metabolized by the bacterial cell into nitrite and this particular reaction is catalyzed by the enzyme called as nitrate reductase. Now why bacteria form nitrate reductase and metabolize nitrate into nitrite? Now to answer this question, we will consider a typical scenario of aerobic condition in which we find the electrons coming out of electron transport chain are given to final electron acceptor that is oxygen. But if bacteria is in anaerobic condition then there won't be any oxygen available and as a result it won't be able to transfer this electron to final electron acceptor. Now in this case what bacteria says bacteria actually look for the environment and if it finds nitrate to be there it forms nitrate reductase enzyme which does what it takes nitrate and it transfers the electron to nitrate and as a result nitrate act as a final electron acceptor over here and it is getting reduced into nitrite so bacteria is now having the ability to keep electron transport chain functional even in anaerobic condition. Now we will see the use of this particular nitrate reduction test. This test is used to differentiate between bacteria like Escherichia and Enterobacter from Acinetobacter species. Now Enterobacter and Escherichia form nitrate reductase enzyme as a result they are called as nitrate reductase positive organism while acinetobacter is unable to form nitrate reductase enzyme and as a result it is called as nitrate reductase negative organism so we will see the requirement over here we will need a positive culture for nitrate reduction test over here we are taking escherichia coli as an example of positive culture then we will need a negative culture for that purpose we will take Acinetobacter species as the negative culture. Then we will need sterile nutrient medium over here. For that purpose we will take sterile nitrate broth. This tube is for the positive culture. You can observe how the nitrate broth is looking over here. And then we will need another tube, another tube of nitrate broth for the negative culture. We will see the nitrate broth, how does it look and appear you can observe over here the clear sterile nitrate broth then we will need nichrome wire loop we will also need nitrate reagent a and b that we will see in a moment we will see the procedure now first of all we will take nichrome wire loop we will make it sterile by heating it red hot then we will let it cool down first of all we will take a positive culture over here which is of Escherichia coli we will take a loop full of culture from this positive culture tube we will 
heat the mouth of the tube and then we will insert our nichrome wire loop we will take a loop full of the culture and again we will heat the mouth of that particular tube and we will keep the tube in the stand then we will take sterile nitrate broth for positive culture you can see over here and now we will transfer the positive culture we will heat the mouth of the tube now we will transfer the loop pole of positive culture in the nitrate broth for the positive culture we will again heat the mouth of the tube and we will keep this tube back So now what we will do, we will make our nichrome wire loop sterile again for the transfer of next that is negative culture, we will let it cool and we are going to take now the negative culture which is of acinetobacter. So we will take a test tube now of negative culture, we will heat the mouth of the tube to make it sterile and then we will take the sample from the negative culture. We will keep the tube back and now we will take our next nitrate broth tube for the negative culture and we will transfer the sample of negative culture in our sterile nitrate broth tube for the negative culture. So what we have done, we have transferred both positive culture and the negative culture in respective nitrate broth tubes. We will make our nichrome wire loop sterile again by heating it red hot. So in this way we have transferred our both of our culture and both the tubes now we will incubate it at 37 degrees celsius for 24 hours. So after the incubation we will observe the growth of the culture both positive and negative. We will see the positive culture tube first. You can see the nitrate broth for the positive culture having turbidity over here that is the growth of Escherichia coli. Then we will see the negative culture that is acinetobacter in our next nitrate broth for the negative culture. You can see the growth over here. Now we will need two reagent nitrate reagent A and B. So nitrate reagent A is sulfonylic acid over here. We will add reagent A that is sulfonylic acid first in our positive nitrate broth tube. We will transfer 1 ml of sulfonylic acid that is reagent A in our positive nitrate broth tube along the side of the tube. Next, we will add reagent B that is alpha naphthalamine. We will take 1 ml of alpha naphthalamine and we will add in our positive nitrate broth tube. Again, we are going to transfer it along the side of the tube. Carefully observe the color change in the tube. You can see the red color precipitate formed over there due to the reaction of alpha naphthalamine with sulfonylic acid and nitride complex and we have got red precipitate of prontosil over there. Take a close look at the positive test that we have got for the nitrate reduction test, the tube on the left hand side and the tube on the right hand side is the negative nitrate broad tube. We will follow the same procedure for this one. So we will take reagent A that is sulfonylic acid and we will add 1 ml of sulfonylic acid in the negative nitrate broth tube. Again we will follow the same procedure of putting it in along the side of the tube. So we have transferred the 1 ml of sulfonylic acid. Then we will go for the next reagent B that is alpha naphthalamine and you can see over here we will add 1 ml of alpha naphthalamine reagent B in negative nitrate broth tube. You can observe carefully over here there is no color change at all 
in the negative nitrate brought tube. Take a close look at both positive tests for nitrate reduction on the left hand side and on the right hand side you are observing negative tests for the nitrate reduction. So if you have found this particular video useful then kindly give us like and subscribe. Bye bye. Subscribe to my YouTube channel The BioWay on YouTube and press the bell icon so that you will never miss another update from my channel. Thank you.